Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Persona 5. And let me check my text real quick. You got plans today, and you want to go to the palace. Um, you know what? I can hang out with Ryuji. He's in the hallway, so might as well. Because the higher we rank up our social links, the stronger they're going to be inside the palace. So we might as well get Ryuji nice and strong. Get him nice and buff. Ooh, going to go to a new spot. Ogi Kubo. A quiet and convenient residential district with famous ramen shops. Lip smacking good ramen, the deep flavor of old style soy broth is worth the long wait in line. All right. Ooh. That's making my mouth water and my jaw lock up. I'm ready to eat some ramen with my main man, Ryuji. Ah, <laughs> oh, I love the feeling of noodles sliding down my throat, sweat dripping over my face. This shit's the best, man. Ramen is life. Light soup like this really gets your body going again after a good run, you know. We used to come all the way out here after practice and... Uh, I guess that's all in the past. <sighs> By the way, I've seen Nakaoka around a few times. But for some reason, it don't look like he's getting along with the others. Nakaoka? Are you worried about him? Just leave him be. Who in the blue fuck is Nakaoka? Uh, are you worried about him? Yeah, kinda. <sighs> I've been thinking about what he said. How the whole track team was putting up with Kamashita shit. Oh, that guy. I remember that guy. And how I effed it all up for him. I think he was right. They don't even got a club room anymore. So they've been storing all their stuff behind the gym. They can't even use any school gear either. So they just run laps around the block for practice. There ain't really a place for outcasts like that. I should know that better than anyone. It's good they're keeping their heads up now, though. I don't want them ending up like me. But you're doing great. It's not so bad. I know how you feel. Let's say that he's doing great. Come on, give me those three notes. <laughs> yeah, baby. You know what? You're right. I guess now that I'm thinking about it, trying to fit in is a real pain in the ass. I mean, I'd never met you guys if I wasn't an outcast, right? So, uh, it's all good. <laughs> For real, though, it's been a shit ton of fun. Hanging out with you guys is so freaking cool. I feel like my bond with Ryuji is growing deeper. Okay, here we go, guys. We're gonna wind it up, and... Jesus! I just hope there's something I can do to help those track guys. Though it'd probably mess them up if I try to butt in. Oh, yeah. We still gotta find a new spot for our training. Hmm, I'll think about it. No slacking off till then, okay? Okay. See ya! Later, dude! Later, bro! I really like that you can rank up every time you increase your social link. I mean, I think that in the regular Persona 3 that I played, you couldn't get any perks for leveling up. Oh, and then in Persona 4, back. I don't believe that it also ranked up either. But I think in Persona 4 Golden, it did. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Should I talk to Sojiro? You know what I am. Hey, are you brewing coffee? I taught you how, so go ahead and give it a try. <laughs> well, if you want to help out, I'm fine with that. What are you going to do? I can become closer, so of course I'm going to do that. Wait, it said I don't think my bond will increase. Uh, you know what? I'm going to decline for today because I want to see what else I can do right now. So let me go to Beef Bowl Shop and let's get to work it. Yikes, a lot of customers just came in. You're going to be bombarded with orders at this rate. Make sure you memorize them all. Give me a large barbecue bowl. Large beef bowl, please. A curry bowl. Ah, oh, make it a large. One medium huiga rabo. The fuck is that? Come on, Z. You gotta remember. Uh, all right, stay calm and remember the orders. What did the first person order? Medium natto bowl? Definitely not. Large barbecue bowl? Yeah, there you go. Yes, that's right! What did the second person order? Medium natto bowl? Definitely not! Medium curry? Large beef bowl? Uh... I think it was large beef bowl. Yeah, they did say that! Yes! What about the third customer? Okay, come on guys, we gotta go three for three. Large curry, medium natto... Large beef bowl. I think large curry bowl. Yeah, that's what I heard too! What did the fourth customer order? That Roy Goy Boy Boy shit. There you go. 
Yeah, you're right. That was the order. Four for four, baby. That's what I do. All right. Now you just have to make everything and serve them. Oh, you don't got to tell me twice. These hands you. are magical. You appear to have a difficult time there. Nah, I'm good. Can't you ask your manager to hire more people? You were extremely busy. Employees being overworked is becoming a real problem in the workplace. That's concerning. Hmm. hmm I should remember this. Well then, I'll, I'll see you leave again. my payment here. Thank you for the food. Wasn't that the politician who gives speeches in front of the station? He was worried about employees in the workplace, huh? Well, I think he knows who you are now. We should go to the station square again sometime soon. Sweet. Hmm, good work. Whoa, good work. It seems there were a lot of customers today, but you handled it well on your own. I'm counting on I you. I paid you a little extra today. Good work. Keep it up. Got 4,800. I feel like that was the same as last time. But that's okay. We're not complaining. As long as we have a job. But we need to go visit the politician. Man. And that's the only reason why we got this job. You were amazing today dealing with so many orders. I'm sure it was rough, but I think you handled it all quite proficiently. <laughs> Perfect plug to get my proficiency. Yes! And we ranked it up! High five, guys! Now right. we are decent. We're decent <sighs> human beings. Whew! Well, I guess we should go home soon. Well, I don't know how much longer I'm going to work at that beef bowl shop because we can get that politician to talk to us now, and I'm pretty sure that guy is a social link. Hey! Ah, we were able to grab a seat. Why don't you read something until we get there? Yeah, I bought a bunch of books at the bookstore. This one can increase my charm, and this one can increase my proficiency. Let's go with charm, because the beef bowl job already increased my proficiency. Hmm? The ABCs of picking up ladies. Mm. The picture of the author, that smug grin just irritates me. Me too. Hey, hey. Hmm. Oh, I didn't realize how long you've been reading. So, how far did you get? Not that far. Seems like you still have some pages left. You should continue some other time. Oh, we're almost at the station. I'd say that was an efficient use of your time. Going it's over. possible to apply math even to an abstract concept like beauty. The golden ratio used in the Mona Lisa and the Parthenon is a famous example. But a different ratio has been used in Japanese art and architecture since ancient times. Do you know what it is? Are you gonna call on me? Now then, Zisan, take a look at this. Surprise, surprise, guys. Surprise, surprise. Give me an answer. Oh, geez, what is this? What is the name of this ratio that Japanese architects and artists have liked using? The platinum ratio, the bronze ratio, the silver ratio. Okay, so the one on the left is the golden ratio. So the one on the right must be platinum? Hmm. Yeah? No. No, that's not it? Well, fuck you too then! It's silver ratio! Okay, I'll remember that next time when I have my exams. Yeah, yeah, they keep talking. They're talking about how dumb I am. I know! I didn't know what a silver ratio was. Sue me! There's 15 days left. What's the plan for today? Check my IMs. What are we doing? Should we go to the palace? You know what? Um, let me actually go to the palace today. But I'm gonna go to Ayotome. Shabu Yizzle, the shizzle. Gonna go to Air Shop Sop. See, I said it again. Air Shop Sop. I've been saying that. It's like a tongue twister. Who the hell is this guy? You know that capsule machine? The one with army rations over by the entrance? Apparently, those rations are really gross. And it's not just the flavor. There's a lot about it that's gross. They're too pricey for me, and maybe too risky too. But if you're curious, why not give them a try? Okay, why are they nasty? It says taste test. The rations of the world volume 37. It costs 800 yen? That's eight bucks, guys. Holy crap. MRE ration. It seems pretty normal at first glance, but... Well, that stinks. What stinks? Your breath stinks. Why does the capsule stink? You again. Are you gonna try and sell me something weird again? Hey! The modified model gun... No, I remember I asked him about it, and I don't have enough guts. Yeah, I need dauntless guts. Come on. What I came here for, though, is because I want to sell the stuff okay. that I got. Bam. You should be grateful. And now I need to get some stuff for my guys. So let's All right. look at some weapons for Z. Sounds good. Igniter. 
is way better than what I have. Okay, we're getting that. And I know this part might be boring to you guys, but it's interesting to me. This? Oh, I don't have enough money. Oh, Rishito. Fuck. Okay. Well, I have some weapons now. So right now, I'm going to open my IMs. And we are going to go to the palace, baby. Boom! I'm sure you already know this. But the first thing we need to do is secure an infiltration route. Then we send the calling card. Yeah, yeah, we know the drill. Anyways, let's get ready. Okay. Oh, and there she is. The little girl. I forgot her name. Justine. Something? It seems you long to be in prison. I can grant that wish for you. I don't wish to be in prison. No, I just wanted to talk to you. Can I say hello? Can a person say hello without going to jail? Apparently not these days. But you know what? I'm going to fuse a persona. <laughs> I see your rehabilitation is going well. You must surely be accustomed to infiltrating palaces by now. Somewhat. It stresses me out. It stresses me out hardcore, and it gives me anxiety. Somewhat. Regardless, you have yet to obtain a truly acceptable number of personas. This is not the full potential of the power of the wild card. Hmm. I suppose this is a prime opportunity to help further your rehabilitation along. Don't worry, this assignment is not mandatory. Think of it almost as a test of strength. What's this assignment? No. We will have you bring us the mask we specify. Huh. You just gotta show us the persona we asked for. First off, we would like for you to bring us a Jack Frost. <sighs> That's too easy, Justine. It should be a challenge. Hmm, I wanted to have Mabufu too. Listen up, you got inmate. that, inmate? Bring us a Jack Frost with Mabufu. Fair sir, well. yes, sir. Or should I say, ma'am, yes, ma'am. Please speak to us again when you have it. This will not be mandatory for your rehabilitation but you will be handsomely rewarded for it. <laughs> I encourage you to at least try your hand at this. Ooh, I like being rewarded, especially if it's handsome. So let me talk to these guys. Wait, no. I can't talk to them yet because I need to get a Jack Frost with Mabufu. I'll go. So we are going to create a new persona. The inmate needs less execution. And let's see if I can make a Jack Frost. Uh, fused by results? What path do you want? Can I get a Jackie Frost? Can I get a Jackie Frost in here? No? Okay then. Finished for now. Let me actually You'd summon like them. The How can I make a Jack Frost? These are the paths uh, you have walked. Uh, forgot how to make a Jack Frost, guys. I guess this I'll get a Jack Lantern. Want, is required. This is your oh power. fuck! I don't have enough money. Uh, we'll see, guys. This might be tight. Needs you wish to this might be a little tight. Yeah, I can't make a Jack Frost yet, guys. I'm too poor to buy any more personas. Finished. So I'm gonna go inside the palace and I'm gonna try to make a little bit more money. Whoa! Wait, Joker! It's an infrared laser device. If we touch it, the security will increase. Hold on. There wasn't anything like this last time, though. The rumors might slowly be making Madarame become more wary of us. Joker, they're not easy to see, but you should be able to do it with your skills. Be careful. You can detect infrared lasers with third eye. Okay, I got that. Focus. My third eye. I got the skills to pay the bill, so let's slide. That's cool. That's real cool. Smooth, too. Look at this, guys. I'm gonna slide. Well, bam. Oh, and hello. Show me your time to whoop that ass. So let's try some things out. Let's go double fangs. Uh, not bad. Garu. For sure. Yes. Bam. One more time. And let me try my negotiation skills. Hopefully they're good. Lend me your power. Are you a human? If you are... Then you should understand me, right? At any rate, I give up. Did my horoscope say today would be bad? It's fine. Do as you please. Give me everything you got. Lick my shoes. Are you sure it's fine? I just said it's fine. Oh, you talk too much. If you like, shall I teach you how to shut up, boy? I've been gravely misinformed. This was supposed to be an easy job, just threatening intruders. I would never have accepted this task if I knew it would involve this sort of suffering. What a pity. Uninformed choices are bad. Complaining won't help. They both seem like good choices. Uh-oh. Complaining won't help? <laughs> ah, I suppose only a grown-up would understand what I'm talking about. If that's the sort of person you really are, well, take this and we'll call it even... Fuck you, Gumby-looking ass! It's mature to admit defeat. Yes, I think that's a great answer. Very mature answer. Nope, it's not... I got discharged crystal? Alright, thank you. Thank you so much for my crystal! Let's say it pains my heart. 
Fuck! Fate brought us together, buddy. Ah, oh, well, that's true and all, but maybe it ain't a good idea to talk about it. Oh, I'll give you this. Forget about me. What the fuck? That's right. I won't tell you. It pays the bills. That's right. I don't know. It just sounds like you're daydreaming too much. And you're a grown-up, too. Here, you can have this. I want to have your mask. I don't want a freaking soul drop. Oh my god, I fucking hate this negotiation bullshit. Oh, thank you. I finally got one. Yes. We got the Gumby looking dude. Hallelujah. McCoy. We got McCoy. I'm about to cry. I'm crying because I'm so pathetic at doing this negotiation stuff. Hey. Hey, wait a second. You're just gonna ignore that golden sheen? Hmm, look at that luster. I know it might be tough to take it with us, but don't you think it'd sell for tons? Come on, we didn't come here to... Whoa. Hold on, you're stepping on something! Wait. Isn't this bad? Stand back, calm down. Stand back! Oh no, I tripped the security! Oh, and you were the one making us be careful too. So what do you want to do? Run out of here? No, passing through all these lasers will draw far too many enemies to our location. Oh, hold on. Joker's not trapped. Yeah, because I'm too cool. Sorry, Joker, but we're going to need you to search for a way to turn off those infrared lasers. This is a museum, so there has to be some switch to let the workers avoid these lasers. Find it! No problem. All I got to do... Third eye time. See? I'm already on the path. I'm already working my magic. What? Jump down? I don't want to jump down. I want to keep going over here. Oh, I can't? Well, I saw a guy down here. Where is he? I'll oh, yeah, there you go. Form. Now I got to go 1v1, though, because I don't have my teammate. Right. This should be fun. Now I can really negotiate without the power of my teammates. Now I can't negotiate? Wait, why not? That's not fair. How come I can't talk? It's okay. I can still whoop ass. Hey, honey buns. Thanks. Now we need to get Skull and Mona out. Or how about we just leave this place and I take you out for some ramen? How about that? So now we just drop down here. Anybody here? Nope. All right, Skull. Time to get you out. What? How'd that happen? No! You do not hit me first. Oh, this should be easy. Do your work. No, get the one in the middle! Oh, it wouldn't let me do it. There you go. Now we're going to negotiate. Let me see what I can choose. Let's say, me and Potatoes. <laughs> and she likes that. So the notes mean good. Let's say sure. Really? Yes! I so not I'm not actually not. reading it and just choosing random bullshit gets me more of their personas than actually using my brain to think it out. Okay, now we gotta get Mona out. Let's do this. How's that gonna happen, you ask? I don't know. But there's something right there. I feel like a real secret agent. Look, it says security whatever on here. Maybe this will let us turn the lasers off. But it looks like we need a password to use it. Let's find the password then. Ugh, they probably ain't gonna just leave it lying around. Then what are we supposed to do? Look for someone who might know it? Uh, duh, that sounds like a good idea. Hey, did you hear about those intruders? Yeah, you mean the thieves sneaking around in here? I got a call telling me to change the password just in case. And what did you change it to? Hello. Huh? I said hello, 07734. If you read the numbers upside down, they spell out the word hello. Isn't that a little childish? Eh, it should be fine as long as nobody else finds out. It's not like anyone's eavesdropping on us. Anyway, don't forget. 
when you see the code input, be sure to say hello. <laughs> so funny, so clever. All right, all right, all right. It's time to do work. Actually, before we do work, let's put in work on this guy's face. The password should be 07734. I wish you could actually put it in so you could remember the password. Like, what is the password? And you actually have to put it in instead of it remembering it automatically. But that's just me. That's just me. I mean, no big deal, right? Anyway, let's get Moni. I'm sorry. That was very unlike me. Sheesh. Weren't you the one telling us not to go around touching shit in the exhibit? Ugh, that is true. I can't believe I made such a novice mistake even for solid gold. But something was drawing me to this vase. What do you mean? Isn't it just an ordinary gold vase? I wonder if there's something special about it. Should we take a closer look just in case? I mean, it is shiny and it is huge. It does look like it's worth a lot. Whoa. Wait. Oh, I see. That's why I was drawn to it. Joker, catch it! I'll explain the rest of it later. Just go after it and attack! Okay? Get your ass over here! Ugh! Ooh! What is this? Holy crap, this thing is strong. Oh, I got away. What was that? That, Lady On, was a rare shadow that occasionally resides in pricey items. I call them treasure demons. They're great. Not only do they give you a lot of experience, they are useful for your personas too. However, they run very fast, and attacks don't deal very much damage to them. Breakable objects may contain treasure demons, especially when the security level is high. Defeating one will grant you a lot of experience points. If you convince one to become one of your personas, you can use it as fusion material. However, a treasure demon cannot be used in battle. Okay. So it's kind of like the glove thing in Persona 4, where it gives you a shitload of XP. Okay, I'll remember that next time. No wonder it resisted all of my attacks. Because once you beat it, you get a shitload of stuff. Let's see. It's somewhere. How do I get past this? Oh. Focus. <laughs> uh. The hell? How are we supposed to get past this huge hole in the... Calm down. Look at where the security guard is walking. Oh, it's an optical illusion, bro. Whoa. Whoa, the hell? Are these infrared lasers? There's no way we can get past them. This level of security only proves there's something worth protecting up ahead. Hey. Wait, there's something written on the sign. All personnel, this door can only be opened via the security room that lies beyond it. Please be cautious, as it is impossible to open from the outside. What? So, it's never gonna open? How are we supposed to get past? Wait, that door! I think I've seen that pattern somewhere. Yeah! Oh right, there's no mistaking it. That's the same door I saw earlier. Guys, let's head back. Huh? <laughs> Why? I think I know what real-world door that's based on. There may be another way to open it. Let's In any back. case, I'll explain later. Come on, let's go! I suppose we should listen to Morgana for the time being. How are we supposed to get past that door? I don't know. You think there's some kind of off switch somewhere? Looks like this is where I come in. Mona? I have a suspicious place in mind. Remember? This shack is the basis for Madarame's palace. I actually scouted it out the last time we were here. Whoa! So this was your plan from the start? Correct. You only went scouting because you were bored. So? Where's this suspicious place? It's on the second floor. I noticed an unnaturally hefty lock on a door up there. If it's locked, that means there's something in there he doesn't want people to see. But don't we want to be opening the door in the palace? Yes. And we're going to do that by opening the real one in front of Madarame's eyes. Basically, we're going to change his cognition that the door is unopenable. In other words, 
When we open the one in Matarame's house, that area in his palace will open on its own? I'm not really getting it. Uh, is that gonna work? Trust me, there's no chance it won't open. I think. You understand, don't you, Joker? Hmm, not really. But it can't hurt to try. I don't really understand it myself. Well, yeah, but, but... hopefully when we actually see it in action, we know what's going on. Why don't you trust me? It's worth a try. But even then, there's still that hefty lock we have to deal with in reality, right? Ugh, that'll be a breeze. Just give me a hairpin and I'll handle it. It will take some time, though. Doing everything by myself in front of Matarame would be impossible. If only there was someone who could distract him for a while. Huh? Oh. Oh! <laughs> Oh, so is it nude time? Man, is it time to get a little nudie? Get into his house. <laughs> We'd get reported for sure if we force ourselves in. What? I guess the only way is having you go nude. <laughs> he said it so casually. What? Fancy you say that, Ryuji. I was just thinking the same thing. This is not saying you should really get naked. It's simply the best excuse for you to enter Matarame's house without raising suspicions. So we'd like for you to play the role of decoy, Lady An. This is way too sudden! I mean, I don't even know where the locked door is! Don't worry, I'll accompany you. But that's still technically only me! Worst comes to worst, what if I get found out? We can run into the palace. Or something. Is that really gonna work? I mean, you're not giving me much confidence in this plan. Do I have to be the bait? There's no other way. Good luck on... Hmm. Yes, you're gonna have to be the bait. Why can't one of you guys go nude? Nobody wants to see their little Japanese penises. It ain't what he wants. Then make it so he does! All you gotta do is trick Yusuke, have him take you to that room, then just open the door. You make it sound so easy. But if there's no other way, I don't... Uh, I don't... I don't have a choice. No, you don't. Uh, God! <laughs> Fine, I'll do it. For justice! For justice! Seriously, you better pull this off. If it's for your sake, Lady On, I won't stop scratching even if all my claws were to break. That's what I'm gonna say if I ever go out in public and I'm naked. If someone's like, hey, why are you naked? I'm gonna say, for justice! We'll be counting on you, Morgana. Don't let Yusuke notice you, alright? If he tries to force my clothes off, I'll tear that house down! You better. I'm really gonna lose it if we do all this and the palace door doesn't open. Got it? We're working to get dirt on that guy's crimes either way. It won't go to waste. All right, let's get down and dirty tomorrow. Let's do it. Tomorrow? Earlier the better. Um, but uh, will Kitagawa-kun agree? I don't know. Just say something like, I really need it to be tomorrow. <laughs> that should work, yeah? <laughs> I hate Ryuji so much. I hate him so much because he reminds me of me so much. I need it to be tomorrow. Okay. Sounds like some shit I would say. I'll get it open right before his very eyes. You get in touch with Yusuke? Mm-hmm. He asked me to come by tomorrow. Aw, yeah, he fell for it. Um, do I really have to do this? Just be careful. It's the only way. <laughs> Strip for him. Fuck it, I'm choosing that. I am not stripping! Man, this is such a pain. We gotta open that door and have Matarame see it, right? Yeah, Morgana said that'll change his cognition. I don't get it. Oh, and one more thing. Let us know if any weird shit goes down and we'll be there to back you up ASAP. KK, got it. A palace is a reflection of how its owner views the real world. So if Matarame's cognition of reality changes, it's only natural that his palace would be affected. 
And all jokes aside, we really need Lady On to strip for Yusuke. It's the only way. On, Morgana, we're counting on you. Me and Z are banned from going there, so all we can do is wait here. No, you two have something different you'll need to do. What do you mean? You have to wait inside the palace. Once that door opens, sneak in and look for some kind of control room. We need to make sure the door can't close anymore after it's open. Okay. Oh, I get it. Okay, you can leave that to us. To think you'd really come. I assumed you were lying when you contacted me. I'm sorry it was so sudden. Oh, it's not a problem. But, as I told you yesterday, Sensei will be returning in about 20 or 30 minutes. So, um... I'm sorry if that causes some anxiety on your part. That's why I'm here today, damn it! <laughs> what was that? Oh, no! It was nothing! By the way... Have you gained some weight? <laughs> you think so? I weigh the same as always. Maybe I'm bloated today. Oh, touche on. Touche. So then, can you, um, <laughs> get ready here? I like that. I Great need tactic. I take my clothes off, right? Yes, please. I'm embarrassed. Uh, could you look the other way? Oh, this is so stupid. Oh. <laughs> Phew, that was tight. Tight? <laughs> Yusuke's like, oh, what's tight? No, oh, I'm doing this for art. Don't look over here, okay? Hey, your sensei's coming back soon, right? I believe so. Hmm, do you think we could do this somewhere else then? A little more atmosphere would be lovely. This should be good enough. But wouldn't a room with a lock be a bit better? A lock? <laughs> Must a girl say more? <sighs> but the only one with a lock is Sensei's room. Then why not there? I can't intrude. Besides, I don't have the key. <sighs> he says he doesn't have the key. It's okay. That's why I'm here. I'll just use this hairpin. Takamaki-san, are you about... You were wearing all this? D don't you think it's cold today? <laughs> I suppose so. The sun is starting to set. Right? That's why a change of location would be nice. I mean, I'm going to take it all off. <laughs> True. It might make for a better picture if I can brighten my model's mood. Uh-huh. That's right. She may even be willing to try out various expressive poses for use in a dynamic composition. Expressive poses, you say? W what kind of poses? Lady on, you have to act. Get back in character! <clears throat> Let's go! I was just starting to get in the mood. This is so great. <laughs> Wait! If you wander around, Sensei will... Oh, it's so hot. We really can't use any other room. Hey! Why not this one? Please wait! I'm counting on you, Mona. And the award for best actress goes to. And Takamaki! Seriously gonna be able to pull this off? She was saying stuff like, I'll just seduce him with my acting, but that sounds out of her league. Plus, we ain't got one sign this place is gonna open. Isn't Matarame coming home soon? On top of that, even if Mona's able to unlock the door, how's it gonna show it to Matarame? And then even if they do show it open, any normal person would just close it right up again. Doesn't that mean we only got a few seconds to get in? To be blunt, won't it be a miracle if this works? It'll definitely work. Let's just wait and see. Sounds almost impossible. It'll work. 
I want to think that too, but... It's almost time. Please, uh, can you just wait and... What's past here? That's... Uh... So the door Mona mentioned is up ahead. I keep telling you, you can't! You're still not done? It's hard to do this with cat paws. Uh, is something the matter? Oh, um... So... What is this room? It's a storage area for old paintings. Storage? Hey, Kitagawa-kun. Why don't we... do it in here? I won't be embarrassed if we go somewhere nobody can find us. Only Sensei can go in there. Be alone with you. Somewhere like quiet. <laughs> you know, where we won't get interrupted. Is he really going to buy that terrible act? Stay focused. Hmm? Oh. How does he not it's hear just that? So frustrating that my feelings aren't getting through to you. She just turned around and said, Stay focused to the door. Obviously, somebody's there, Yusuke. Kitagawa kun, do you not like girls like me? N no, th that's not true. How is that working on him? I have no idea. Please, we can continue this inside. Sh sure. I mean, no, we can't go in there. Ah, uh, he was almost whipped. Uh, it's locked anyway, so... Come on, whip him some more Fine. on. Whip him! This is too embarrassing. I'm leaving. But... Let's just do it in here, okay? What do I do? I'm home. Oh, shit. S sensei Daddy's home. Yusuke? It's open. Yes. Let's go. Huh? What are you doing there? Oh fuck. It's it's not what it looks like. <laughs> not in there. Yes, in there. We're doing it in here. That's what Ann said. She said, I wanna do it in here, Yusuke. Uh. Nothing's happening. I wonder what's... Hmm? Here we go. Yes! It's off! They seriously did it! They're amazing. Stand guard. What a surprise. Yeah, for real. Let's go. What the hell's that? <laughs> Damn it, already? Hey, what do you want to do? We have to beat it. Yeah. Okay. Let's whoop this guy. Sup? Sorry. Oh, this guy's big. And he has a snake for a tail. That's never a good sign. They got past the security system? You cannot go any further. You are trespassing on Lord Matarame's territory. I don't give a you fuck. ain't got nothing on us. I'm more scared of screwing up and having on yell at me. Me too. Ah. What? Yeah. Huh? Let's that go. hurt. Let's go snap. Damn. Wow, I got him already? Nice. Uh, fuck. Let's go snap again. You're mine. This guy's weak. This one. No way. Why would you do that? Why? Okay, one more time. Hmm. Come on, Ryuji, I need you. And you just throwing away money? Fine, I'm doing this all by myself. Okay, one more time. Bam! Finally. Okay, headbutt, and we're done here. Easy. 215 XP. And we leveled up. Yes. Phew. 
Things are getting real tough when it's just me and you. It'll be a pain in the ass if we get spotted again. Anyways, let's turn off the security system. Takamaki-san, this is bad. Are these the lights? <gasps> what the... <laughs> what the... Isn't this Sayuri? Why are there so many of them? I have no idea. Get out! Sensei, what is the meaning of this? I suppose I can't keep quiet now that you've seen this. Truth be told, I'm in severe debt. I handmade these Sayuri copies and have been selling them through a special connection of mine. But why? The real Sayuri was stolen by one of my pupils long ago. I assume they begrudged my strictness. That moment was quite a shock for me. Since then, I've been mired in a terrible artist block. Because of this distress, some of my pupils handed their ideas over to me from time to time. <sighs> I knew I couldn't keep that up, so I attempted to recreate the Sayuri a number of times. However, it resulted in nothing more than replicas. That's when someone came to buy the paintings, knowing, well, they weren't original. It's all my fault. I couldn't pay the price of being famous. As expectations for me rose, it reached a point where I had no choice but to keep making them. I needed money to further your talents. I ask that you please forgive your cowardly teacher. Please, don't. Hold on, something doesn't add up. If the original painting got stolen, how did you make copies of it? I happened to find a finely detailed photograph of it in an art book. Yeah, right. So you managed to sell copies of a photo of the original? I'm not sure how this works, but don't people who buy paintings generally have a keen eye for the fine arts? Mm, this sounds like a lie to me. Sounds and smells like some bullshit. What would you know? Something just doesn't feel right. Lady On, this one seems different. Sayuri. This... This is the real Sayuri. But you just said a moment ago that it was stolen. He lied, Yusuke. He's been That's lying this whole time. No, it's nothing of the sort. This painting kept me going. It's the reason I made it this far. Finally, you Sense. see his lies. Don't tell me. It's fake. Yes, a counterfeit. I heard there was a counterfeit spreading around, so I bought it. So you're telling me the actual artist behind the painting bought a counterfeit? That's pushing it. You're lying, Sensei. Please, just tell us the truth. You too? I've reported you to my private security company. What? That's when you know he got caught lying. He's like, oh fuck, they got me. Okay, time to call my private security company. I had it set up to deal with some problematic paparazzi, but I never thought it'd come in so handy. Please, wait. Let's talk about this. You can talk all you want to the police. That includes you, Yusuke. Lady on, let's run! A cat! Where did it... There's no point! They'll be here within two minutes! Takamaki-san! Nice. Alright! Alright! Looks like the security's totally off. Let's get back and meet up with the others. I hope those two manage to get away. Oh, Yusuke. <laughs> ah, oh, oh. I thought I was gonna die. Uh, hey, uh, will you let go already? <laughs> oh no, I didn't mean to push him so hard. 
Are you okay? Wake up! Who are you all? Uh, calm down, Kitagawa-kun! It's me! Akamaki-san? That means you two are... I don't recall ever seeing this cat costume before, though. What is this place? We are inside Matarame's heart. Inside Sensei's heart? I'm sorry, Takamaki-san. But are you sure you're feeling okay? She ain't lying. This is what that bastard truly feels. He's nothing but a greed-filled money grubber. Enough of this rubbish! Kitagawa-kun, didn't it cross your mind that something wasn't right about Matarame? <sighs> You may not want to believe it, but this is another reality as viewed through Matarame's eyes. This is his true nature. This repulsive world? Just who are all of you? I guess you could say we're a group that changes the hearts of Ron Crooks. If everything you say is true, then the sensei I know doesn't exist. You gotta snap out of it. Still. He has kept me safe these past ten years. My gratitude for that won't just disappear. You're gonna forgive him? At this rate, you'll... Are you okay? I'm trying to be rational about this, but my emotions are overwhelming me. Sorry, but we don't have time to dawdle. The security level's gone through the roof. We need to get out of here at once! Let's go. Here, lean on my shoulder. No, it's alright. Well, fine. I'm never offering my shoulder to you ever again. But that's gonna do it for this episode of Persona 5, guys. If you want to see the next one as soon as possible, make sure you yes. give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too!